All right, so the monopod is becoming one of my favorite things in my camera bag. It can do so many things for videography and it's so versatile, I don't really feel like I need to bring a gimbal anymore. You get really stable footage out of it. And it also can double as a tripod if you have a little three-prong stand at the bottom of it. Granted, the tripod's not gonna be as stable as a regular tripod, but it definitely can get you by. So I'm just gonna go over some basic monopod movements for videography and cinematography. If you wanna skip ahead to this cinematic shot of this area that I'm in using those movements, it's gonna be closer towards the end of this video. All right, so for shot number one here, we're gonna go ahead and keep this tripod open, and we're gonna plant it behind your arm so it keeps a nice, stable base. We're gonna use the arm and the fluid head to basically control it up and down and also pan it left and right and it acts honestly a lot like a gimbal in my experience. So it's like this. And also you can get dynamic shots by panning left and right and pushing your fluid head up or down like this. Now another cool thing is if you extend your monopod and just hold it stable, you can get a nice gravity pan up and pan down just by letting gravity do its work like this. Like I said, you can get some static shots just by keeping it up on the tripod like this, which is, you know, it's always nice, especially for interview type scenarios. Another cool thing is you can get some like almost like drone shots just by lifting it up and rotating and going through the leaves and trees and stuff like that. And you get some pretty interesting results that way as well. You can use this as a counterweight down here, so the thing exp expand it, you're lightly holding it, arms close to your shoulders, and use your ninja walk to walk forward to get some pretty smooth gimbal-like results following someone. Another cool shot is just by placing it on your shoulder and planting it left and right, you can get some pretty cool overshots of tables, settings, stuff like that, details for weddings, stuff like that, and they come out pretty nice as well. And lastly, for more of a dynamic shot, you can get your tripod legs and close them up, point your camera down, and lean forward. And as you're leaning back, push your camera up and it's just gonna create a nice dynamic multi-movement shot like this. You can do the opposite way as well, just by pushing your camera up, leaning back, and slowly pushing forward. So the next following shots, I'm gonna use those camera movements in the B-roll. I'll leave a little text down below for each shot so you know what movement I'm using. And hopefully these monopod movements will give you some ideas for your future video work. I hope these monopod movements helped you out. Please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and I'll catch you in the next one.